Hey guys, it's Michael with Engadget, and we're here with Evan from Autodesk, and he is the mastermind behind the 3D printed speakers. Thanks for joining us, Evan. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so, okay, so can you tell us a little bit about A, how did you come up with the idea, and just how did you, how did you make it? So it started as an exploration in multi-material 3D printing on an object Conix 500 machine that we have. Um, so me and a colleague of mine were just kind of playing with different, um, different modeling techniques, but also what we could do with these multi-materials. And one of the things we developed, um, we showed to our director of innovation, and he said this would make a really cool speaker. And it just evolved into this project. Um, and then we set out, um, once we had that idea of this project, we said, okay, how can we make it you know, really big? Um, how could we use it to showcase our technology and 3D printing technology in a really special way? Um, so what we wanted to do is show something that can be 3D printed um, um, as, a, as a finished product. So a lot of people are using 3D printing as prototypes, but we wanted to create an actual finished product that someone um, would want to buy. Um, so we came up with this design. There's a lot of complexity here, which is great for 3D printing. And then um, we used a flexible rubber base material um, for the inside um, that gives the... Um, just makes the base less resonant. We thought, you know, make make for a better sound quality. And then we have these clear crystals that, as you can see, have really cool optical properties when you pass light through them. Um, and that's what we worked with our buddies at LumiGeek to um, to light these up like this. Okay, so you guys had started out just with like the 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 frame you were doing as a kind of a design exercise. So I know this is not your your part of the deal, but can you talk a little bit about the the lighting and the app and everything else? Yeah, so basically there's these um, addressable RGB LED strips wrapped in here. So each pixel we can control individually. So we can map, we can map video files to these or um, really cool patterns. Um, so the guys at LumaGeep developed um, these boards that basically help us talk to um, use the iPad to help us talk to talk to the LEDs. So, you know, with this app that um, we have here, we can we can change patterns, we can change colors, um, we can do hue shifts, add colors, take colors out. Um, just have basically com complete control over this. Very cool. So, um, from start to finish, how long does it take you to make two of these? Uh, so to 3D print these, it took 40 hours as the pair. There's probably another 15 hours of cleanup work to do. That's removing support material, sanding, wiring, um, and then the lighting was an extra um, couple of hours just to get all the um, all the lights in there properly. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Evan. Thanks for having me. Good work, and that's all we have. Thanks, guys. See you next time.